now let's do a shortcut practical so what actually we are going to do we are going to create a two workspace we are going to create a two workspace under this two workspace what actually we'll do we'll create a two lake house two lake house so i have created a workspace one already i'm going to create another workspace workspace two under this workspace we are going to create one more lake house lake house now in this lake house we have a files and the table files and the table now what actually i want from this particular lake house from this particular workspace whatever the file is there right i want to access here so that is the practical we are going to do so let's do a practical and uh, let's try to understand so i open a fabric so if you'll see we have already created a fabric dev workspace under this fabric dev workspace you will see a, a bronze lake house which we have created this is a bronze lake house under this bronze lake house you can see we have a files employee1.csc now what we are going to do we are going to create another workspace so how to create a workspace click on the new workspace the workspace name i will give i want to create a workspace name as a let's give the name as a source source workspace or something source workspace a domain uh, we will go as it is and in advance right uh, capacity you have to select so we are going ahead with the, this particular capacity we have created click on the apply this is going to create a, another workspace for me so you can see this is the source workspace we have created under this source workspace what actually we will do we will try to create a lake house so if i click on the workspace right now you can see fabric dev we have created previously now source workspace is there now under this source workspace we are going to create an item uh, i am going to create a, a lake house so search for the lake house this is the lake house you have to give the lake house name here also i will give the name as a source lk source lk is nothing but the source lake house we can say click on the create this is the name i am giving now here we will try to upload a file now source lk whatever the file we will upload right we will try to access it from a different workspace now you can see source lake house we have created now what actually i will do under this file section right i am going to create a subfolder for the shortcut the folder is required so i'll give the name as a employee this is the folder name i want to create click on the create this is the employee folder under this employee folder what actually i want to do i want to upload a file i want to upload a file click on the get data upload files select the file let's try to upload a couple of file and i want to upload a employee department this are the file i want to upload click on the upload click on the upload now if you'll see couple of files we have uploaded so we have created one folder employee and couple of files which is available here if you want to see if you click on this you will be able to preview the data also in a, our source lake house we have a couple of file which is available now what actually i want from this fabric dev workspace what actually i want i want to access a data which is available into a another workspace i want to create a shortcut now i want to create a shortcut so click on this click on the new shortcut you can see internal shortcut within a microsoft one leg if you want to access if you want to reference the data you can select the one leg external sources amazon s3 and all so within a one leg we want right so click on the microsoft one leg now you can see you can see two lake house is there so i want to so i'll click on the source lake house click on the next under this source lake house right in the file section we have this particular employee folder so i'll select that click on the next transform your data we don't want to transform so click on the skip click on the create now what will happen one shortcut will be created one shortcut will be created now you can see one shortcut has been created you can see this particular icon right this particular icon this is for the shortcut now even though your data is available in a different workspace right from here also you can access that we can see the same kind of the data now we have created one shortcut for the file which is available into a another workspace so in another workspace we have a couple of file right so that for that file what actually we have done we have created a shortcut and we are able to reference the uh, data so like that we can create a shortcut for the files now what we'll do for the table also we'll try to do it 
Now suppose in this workspace, so as of now, we are in a fabric dev workspace. Uh, we have an employee table, right? But if I'll go into the another workspace, we don't have any kind of the table available. Now what actually I want to do, I want to access a table which is available in another workspace. So I'll come here into the table, click on the three dot, click on the new shortcut. Microsoft one lake. In a bronze lake house, we have one of the table. We have one of the table. I want to access that. Click on this, click on the next, click on the create. Now in this case, what will happen? In a table, one shortcut will be created. Click on the refresh first. You can see in a table, shortcuts got created. So you can see symbol, right? Shortcut. So this is referring a table which is available into another workspace. So like that, we can reference a data which is available into a multiple workspace and uh, we can use the data. So I hope you got the idea how to create a shortcut for the files and the table and how we can reference a data which is available into a multiple workspace and how actually we can collaborate. Uh, so this is a very useful feature. Please try to do a practice.